On May 8th, internet users uploaded viral snippets of Red Sky from the Chinese social media platforms Weibo and Sina, curious about the cause. While internet users speculated about China's Red Sky, wondering if it was caused by a solar storm that generated a crimson sky above China, Korea, and Japan in 1770. Local officials informed locals that this phenomenon had nothing to do with solar activity. According to local sources, the red color of the sky was caused by the reflection of red light from a fishing boat catching Pacific Sari. A Global Times report quoted the Zhaoshan Meteorological Bureau, who explained, It was foggy and cloudy in Zhaoshan on Saturday, and it was drizzling at the time of the red sky, which might have been caused by the reflection of light from the low-level clouds. Experts from the space physics research team at the China University of Geosciences in Wuhan noted that the crimson sky was not caused by any anomalies of solar activity as the solar and geomagnetic activity was calm. In fact, China has not witnessed the blood red sky for the first time. According to Live Science, the sky across China, Japan, and Korea became crimson on September 10, 1770, and the hue lingered over for a week. Several studies have been conducted on this historic occurrence in an attempt to determine what caused it. Hisashi Hayakawa, a historian and astronomer at Japan's Osaka University, and his colleagues investigated mentions of aurora in historical sources from Japan, Korea, and other East Asian nations. Hayakawa remarked that the long-lasting auroras were visible at low altitudes, adding that one of the causes may be a significant geomagnetic storm, according to Live Science. Hayakawa further explained, Considering this event was so large, it would be reasonable to find more events not only in East Asia, but also in other low-latitude areas, Hayakawa said. As a result, the team is extending its icarval surveys to areas as distant as the Middle East. Thanks for watching.